What is going on guys, Zigablaze here, and today I'm bringing you another Black Ops 3 custom class setup video, and today we are doing the God of War class. Now, I know what you're thinking, there's no God of War gun in this game, Blaze, what are you talking about? Well, do I have some fucking news for you. Okay, so, the Man of War, it is a good assault rifle all around, I haven't met many people that have played Black Ops 3 extensively that would say otherwise, and say that the Man of War is a bad assault rifle. It's really strong, it kills in 3 bullets up close and 4 at a distance, and it's just an absolute powerhouse, you can just melt kids with this gun. But there are a few setbacks to this weapon. One is that its aim down sight time after you stop sprinting is a bit slower than the other assault rifles. Two is that it just feels like a clunkier weapon and has a bit more recoil than the other assault rifles. And that makes sense because it's a stronger, slower shooting assault rifle. But today's class setup that I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be a class that will negate all the negative effects that this gun comes with and it will turn it into an absol absolute laser rifle and just an absolute damage machine so I hope you guys are excited I'm gonna throw the class on screen for you guys right now so you can see what I'm talking about so I'm gonna explain this build to you guys right now and really get you so you understand the attachments that I have on this weapon and why I have them on there so first we're starting off with quick draw on the man of war and that's just a given I want to be able to aim down sight fast with assault rifles and quick draw is just a really good attachment to have on almost all the weapons you use in this game because it's gonna let you bump into enemies and get your weapon up faster than they're going to be able to if they don't have quick draw or fast hands so we're using that so we can snap aim onto targets and take them out quickly and after that we have the stock attachment now stock is an absolute must for me on assault rifles and that's because I am not a slow style of player I am more of an aggressive player who likes to sit in, like the middle of the map and just push up on my enemies so I like to run with stock because it lets me aim down sight and stay mobile while I'm aiming down at my enemies especially with assault rifles because they're a bit slower when you're aimed down sight than SMGs are in other weapons so after that we have fast mags now this attachment, I always try and give you guys a little bit of leeway with my classes so that if you have certain things that you run and you want to change something something about my class a little bit to make it more comfortable for your playstyle, then you can do that. But this attachment right here would probably be that for me. So fast mags is, it's not a necessity on this weapon. Um, this weapon doesn't have a super slow reload time, but I like to be able to switch out my magazines really quick so I can stay in the gunfight and I can stay active and just up in the enemy's face because that's how I like to play and I like to be super aggressive. So fast mags for me is keeping me alive a lot longer. And finally the last attachment we have is the foregrip and this gun bounces like a son of a bitch sometimes. So I like to keep the foregrip on there so that I can keep the recoil down and just keep my target right in the middle of my crosshairs and just have that laser accuracy that'll get you the kills a lot faster, especially in core mode. In hardcore you probably don't need foregrip as much because that first shot doesn't is like all you need to land to kill the enemy but in core you want to keep your you want to keep your sights aimed on your target at all times so you can kill them as fast as possible and that's what foregrip will help you do and finally the perks we're going to be running with in this class setup are flak jacket scavenger and tactical mask now these are my three go-to perks that i almost always run with if i'm just using a really hardcore class like this right here is another one of my try hard classes that's why we're calling it the god of war because we wanted to turn this weapon into an absolute beast and that's what this class will do for you so flak jacket is to tank all those explosives uh i like to stay up and be aggressive like i said before and that's just going to help me stay alive longer scavenger is because i'm planning on staying on these lo longer kill streaks uh i want to have scavenger so i can replenish my ammo you guys must have just saw at the end of that last round i ran out of ammo and i just went and tried to punch some enemies because i was i don't know i just didn't want to camp in a corner for the last 20 points of the domination round and finally we have tactical mask because i hate stun grenades i hate getting shock charged and flashbang so i like to be able to stay up in the fight and i like tactical mask so i can keep my target right in front of me and not have to worry about uh, turning into a piece of squash because I got hit with some type of tactical grenade. Um, yeah guys, that's going to wrap up this class that I have for you. Um, specialists that I would recommend running with this class are batteries, armor, because this is a more aggressive class and using the armor ability will keep you up 
and aggressive against your enemies and give you a bit more health so that you can take more damage. It's really nice. It's it's kind of like Juggernaut uh, just for a few seconds. So if you feel like you're going to get shot up by a lot of enemies, it's good to pop that ability and stay aggressive. Um, other specialists that I like to use with this are combat focus because this class is all based around going on those big score streaks. Like you guys can see in this game, I'm going for the Wraith and the Hater. And I do end up earning them and it's because I have... It, well, I mean, I'm not using combat focus in this video, I'm using the Sparrow, but that was just because I was bored, I don't know, I was just randomly using it. But anyways, yeah guys, those are two specialists that I would recommend for this, because that combat focus will definitely help you go on longer score streaks. Um, I'm not going to leave you with the entirety of the gameplay, because, the, <laughs> to be completely honest, the last few minutes of this game aren't as impressive as the first few were. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below if you have any classes you'd like me to do a video on because I would love to do classes that you guys recommend for me. Um, if you have any fun ones or anything you want me want me to do a video on, then feel free to let me down down in the comment section, guys. And please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out a lot and helps me grow because I'm a smaller channel and just it lets new people uh, see my videos and just join our big lovely family that we have <laughs> with all you awesome subscribers but uh yeah guys that's all i have for you today as always i will see all of you beautiful faces tomorrow peace out